Well, let's talk to Cowboy Dow Dow. Yeah, there's no need for you to play the hero here. That role is taken, you know? But if it's any comfort to you, the part of the lovable chump is currently available. Just let Yana show you the ropes. He knows how to walk, talk, act, stand, and sit like a chump. You mean shit like a chump? I said chump, not jokester. Cracking jokes is my job. Okay, so that is basically all that we can do here. Yeah, there's nothing else to interact with. So we might as well go and post this, uh... Post this thingy. Hey, wait a minute. What was that all about, huh? Are you serious about taking me on? In case you still don't get it, this is my show. Cowboy Dodo saves the world. Yeah, right, and they're giving away nail clippers and pollution. I founded the Resistance. I uncovered the plans of the Organon, and I will be the one who saves the world. <laughs> I knew it. This is all about your ego, isn't it? Yeah, my ego is determined to save the world. Oh, yeah? Then why do you refuse to turn the crank? Because... Uh, uh, um, uh, You'd better make up your mind, buddy. Do you want the world to be saved? Then come on back in and let me save the world. But if you're only doing this to look like a hero, then we got a problem. I have a certain image to uphold, you know? And I'm not about to let some local hick peel the crust off my swill. We'll see about that. Is that supposed to be a threat? <laughs> Just look at you, you scrawny wimp. I could take on two of you hands down. Is that so? In that case, we should try it out. Wait here. Don't go away. To be fair, the main reason that I'm, uh... I'm not turning the crank is because the crank's not a clickable object, so if you make the crank into a clickable object, I will gladly, you know, let you be the hero or whatever, but I don't exactly get the luxury of that choice now, do I? Is there anything else, like anywhere other direction I can go here? Nope. So let's go ahead and mail this. The massive mail cartridge. That should be an application for a screwdriver, which is uh, a little bit silly oh, and redundant. So exciting! Whoa! That went fast. Yes! That's actually the screwdriver I ordered for myself. <laughs> Based on the description in the application form, I had assumed it would be a little bigger. That's the last time I order anything from those frauds. So what, is this like a mini screwdriver? No, it's the same screwdriver. Based <laughs> it's the exact same image of the screwdriver. Okay, can I get another application form, please? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Now, I can't... I, I don't think I can order a replacement so York. good. Now... What am I going to apply for? But I can apply for like a sanitary service, right? York seven. Yes, I can. There. Not sure what I'm going to use the the new screwdriver for either. Okay, I put that in the cartridge, and then we send it off. Oh, this is so exciting! Whoa! That went fast. And that's probably everything I can do with the pneumatic mail cartridge at this, you point, at this that time. Your application for medical help has been approved. Hey, cool! I bet they'll be sending me to sick bay now. Says here, for this category of injury, it will not be necessary for you to report to sick bay. Oh, a medic is already on his way to your location. Uh -oh. Um. Um. <laughs> hey, you! Stop! Well, this is all kinds of bad news. <laughs> have, I, have I lost him? I'm hiding. You'll never find me. <laughs> Wait, is he going to go find Cowboy Dodo? <laughs> Let's see how our oh-so-heroic Cowboy Dodo... Oh, my God. Rufus. <laughs> Rufus. <laughs> I've just, I've, I've basically just ruined, ruined everything, haven't I? I've basically just ended the world. <laughs> <laughs> and then I knocked him out with a well-aimed karate chop. Okay. Wow. Ah, Rufus. We've got a new problem. Unfortunately, I had to use our rope to tie up the organ on. He popped up all of a sudden, and I was forced to subdue him. Anyone could have done that. Well, to be fair, he was, he was only a medic. He wasn't really a soldier, so... Whatever. <laughs> so he's been captured, eh? 
Yeah, I probably should probably should have uh, figured that would happen. Tell me, um, are you part of the medical staff? I think I feel an idea coming on. Hold still. <laughs> it worked. Usually, I drop all the glasses. And now I'm going to be able to dress up as an organon for some reason. I'm not changing clothes when I'm not that sort of. Okay, I can't do it in this room, but I can do it in another room. Okay. So, are you cold? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, Kabododa. I got to give you credit for that yeah, at least. Not worth the effort. They wouldn't know a true. I got. I got to give you some credit. Too bad I had to subdue this organon. Where are we gonna get a new rope now? Well, uh, maybe one will fall into our laps if we just keep sitting here. But Rufus, you're not trying to avoid work, are you? Or do you expect me to see about the rope as well? Yeah. I'm guessing that I need to. I'm guessing that like I, I can just put on the organ knife and that's gonna let me like, give me access to new areas. Hey, Yanosh. Hello, Rufus. See yeah, he's not. He's not got anything new to say. So if I go outside. And I put on the Orgon outfit. There we go. Can I get beat up by Kawai Dodo now? Open fire on sight. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but I can now probably go somewhere or interact with someone. I can probably talk to him or someone. What is the Orgon on? Can I get into sick bay? Oh wait, the door sensor might work. Cool. Okay, that works. makes absolutely no sense. That makes absolutely no sense why that would suddenly work. <laughs> Alright, let's go in the medical bay. Ah, Doctor, there you are at last. You're just in time. I was about to give up on this patient. Give up? Why? What's wrong with him? Well, first I thought it was a simple case of food poisoning, but then I did a safety scan, just to be sure. There is no doubt about it. The patient has a tapeworm. What? <laughs> but, Doctor... A tapeworm is no laughing matter. This is serious. You must operate at once. <laughs> That's a good idea. Huh? What? Me? Of course you. You're the doctor, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm the doctor. And removing a tapeworm is, is uh, child's play for me. I mean, just how hard can it be? Oh, uh, uh, whatever you say. Uh, your coat is hanging over there, as usual. I'll go and get the dissecting kit and the bone saw. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm pretty sure yeah, dissection is for dead things. Do... I'm pretty sure what you're referring to is vivisection. Mini game. Uh, yes. Piece of cake. I am a sturgeon after all. Uh, a surgeon, you mean? Uh, yeah, that too. So in what way is this minigame going to be crazy, ridiculously complicated? This tape worm is hungry for minigames. It was a lucky coincidence Rufus is also a gifted surgeon. He's very gifted, certainly. Trivial surgery like removing a tape worm from his clone is something he could do blindfolded. The tricky part is dragging and dropping all those organs back in there. Knowing all organs can be flipped and rotated by clicking the right mouse button sure comes in handy. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> okay. So do I have to remember where everything goes? So, the red thing, purple thing, potato, <laughs> uh, intestines, and purple, weird purple looking lungs. <laughs> Got it. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, weren't you going to put him back together? And this oh, is the hard part. What do, you mean? do I have to? Well, I think it would be beneficial to the patient. Oh, well, alright, fine. So we'll start with the lungs. We can rotate yeah, them, put them there. Oh. Okay, so this is basically a memory test. Uh, what order do you take things out, ah. and can you put them back in the same order? Uh, the next one was the potato, I think. Which one's the potato? Is that the heart? Uh, yes, I think it was. That went there. No, did that go there? Uh, no. I think that did go there. Then we had like the uh, brown thing. Which went like that, I think. And then we had that. Um, so where does the uh, the last part go? Ah, well, who cares? It can't have been that important. <laughs> okay, all done. Close him up. See, because um, I read the instructions beforehand, I figured I might have to remember what order I took him out in. Really well. Don't you think so? I'm about to be sick. Oh, stop kvetching. After all, I saved your life. And I even got myself a keepsake. Here. 
Oh, yuck. What's that supposed to be? Your tapeworm. What else? You know, you should pay a little more attention to what you stuff your face with. But never mind. We've got more important things to do. I found the rebels, and I need your help. Come on. We got to do stuff. So now I've got Cletus. In what way is that going to help? I guess I could just go to the rebels. Uh, maybe I can get Cletus to do the uh, the pulling of the crank. That way I can go down to uh, Argus's room. That's how it works, right? Rufish? I think I see double. What? 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 What the? I don't believe it. <laughs> Didn't expect that, huh? The tide has turned. Now we can take another vote about who's going to get the codes. I vote for me. And I for me. What? No. Hey. Well, in that case, it looks like I won the vote. You see, I'm going to vote for your doppelganger, too. So it's three to two to two. No, 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 no. I need to do this. You wanted another vote, so we took one. Now all we need is rope. And then we can start. Okay. <laughs> so I need to get some rope. Oh. Oh. With, but I won't suggest that until we've taken a fair vote. One where I win, of course. <laughs> oh, so I, have to, I actually have to win? <laughs> Not entirely sure how I can do that. I don't see why I can't use the tapeworm as a rope, though. Huh. I know what we can use for as long as there hasn't been a new vote. Please keep it to yourself. We cannot allow that clown to get the ascension goes. But he's not getting these ascension codes, you are. Jeez. <laughs> Cletus is on my side, yay. <sighs> so how exactly do we do this? I need to basically get... <coughs> I need to either, like, get those to vote for me. Or I need to get Cletus to vote for me. Uh, what I can talk doing? to Cletus. You were supposed to vote for me. And why aren't you voting for me? After all, we're identical, right? So it totally doesn't matter which one of us gets the codes. Just as long as it isn't that pompous doofus. <laughs> I agree. We must get rid of him somehow. I'll think of something. Why can't you, Cletus just vote for me? Then it's like three votes for Rufus, three votes for Dodo, one vote for... I don't even know. <laughs> Have you found a rope yet? No. You? So that means you're here to tell us you've made what progress exactly? None at all? Yeah. Hey, I am not sure what I need to do at this point in the slightest. <laughs> Maybe I should focus on one of the other Ruf Rufa ponies for a while. Hey, Yanosh. Hello, Rufus. See you later. Please. I think he's going to get three votes regardless. I think the, these these fangirls are all going to vote for him. So I need to get Cletus to vote for me, Yanosh to vote for me, and Cowboy Dodo to be so uh, <laughs> with a little imagination enamored. And a lot, but I won't say one word with me. I don't know. Oh, what can I do now? Maybe, maybe if I give him the back his uh, his clothes, he'll vote for me. No? Okay. I've got an idea. We could dress up somehow. And then... Uh, then we'll create confusion. And then... Then we'll use our incredible talent to rule over chaos in order to... Uh, to, um, Take over the world. Uh, I'm afraid my train of thought has derailed. Aww. I think this plan just needs a, a little more fine-tuning. Okay, guess I'm going to, like, wander around and figure out if there's anything that I can actually do. I'm liking I'm liking doing this stuff on the third roofers though, because like third roofers hasn't seen much love recently. I've got an idea. Are you about to infect me with another tapeworm? Much better. All you need to do is hold open the pneumatic tube over there with this screwdriver. And what good will that do? Take a good look. He's sitting right in the line of fire. As soon as the next capsule comes down, oh. soon, then blemo. Hmm. <laughs> That might even work, but only if a capsule comes before my arms fall off. I'll see That's fine, we, we can request them. I'll be right back. I can request something anyway. So, right, okay. <laughs> I'm basically going to just have to go get uh, get something from the pneumatic tube dealie. And I was going to hit him in the face. and It's very convoluted. It's not like something that I thought that you know I thought I kind of did go into try everything with everything mode. Uh, oh anyway, wait, I, I need a new application form, don't I? What should we request? Should we request uh, a new screwdriver? 
A new medic's not going to work. Now, I don't think. What am I going to apply? Oh, no, it just said a letter back, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get another screwdriver anyway. That will do. Hola 55. There. Because I have just given that screwdriver to Cletus. Do do do. Put in the new medic mail kit cartridge. And then send it off, and then we shall see what the result is. Possibly some kind of cutscene? <laughs> <laughs> nope. But it's not returning anything, so I'm guessing that something has changed. Some kind of, uh... Also, yeah, I don't have my, uh, my, my tube cartridge thing. So this isn't something that's repeatable. <laughs> Physics! <laughs> what are you doing? Physics! Come on now!